Good evening, everyone. <laughs> Welcome to the Dell Station. Mr. Borelli, if you do the honor of the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Vice President of the Delta Regional High School District Board of Education, I hear, so hereby certify that all provisions of the Open Public Meeting Law, PL 1975, Chapter 231, have been met. Notice of this meeting was mailed to the South Jersey Times, the Sentinel, the Daily Journal, as well as the Municipal Clerks of Elk and Franklin Townships. A roll call, Mrs. Doherty? Here. Mrs. Beck? Here. Mr. Borelli? Here. Mr. Lightfoot? Here. Mr. Dempsey? Here. Mr. Gamadio? Here. Mrs. Gagliano? Is not here. I'm here. Mr. Pizzarello will not be here this evening. And Jamelia? Yes. Here. Okay. We have two presentations this two evening. Two presentations this evening, SSDS reports. Um, Dr. Neely from the middle school and Jessica Della from high school. Good evening. Good evening. So at the middle school over the past year, we've identified several key areas where our students have faced some challenges that are reflected in our school discipline report. Looking from 2022-2023 school year to last year, 23-24, we've seen a reduction in the NJDOE reportable incidences by 41%. We believe this is a direct correlation to our proactive approach in addressing behavior and supporting student well-being. So at this point to this end, we've enhanced our behavioral MTSS framework by incorporating restorative culture practices, which focus on relationship building and on conflict resolution. We've also strengthened our counseling services to provide more tailored support for students who may be struggling. Additionally, we've also introduced a reflection program, which allows us to gain deeper insight into our student perspective, helping us address the root causes of behavior more effectively. The teaming design that we have in the middle school has positively impacted the connectedness among students and staff within the building. And through all these measures, we're confident that we can continue to create a more supportive and responsive environment for all of our students. In the high school, we're off to a good start. Our numbers are actually on target and actually decreasing from our pre and post pandemic. Our reportable offenses have actually been cut basically in half from 2022 to 2023 and our uh, total incidences has been a decrease of almost 25%, likely due to our data analysis and our adjusting of our code of conduct. We're using DELC-1 better, and we're also implementing more restorative practices, and basically our overall school culture and our teachers have been really great. Does anybody have any questions on either of those reports? Thank, Thank you, you very much. We have a second presentation. I'll bring up Misty Pesquale, high school principal. Uh, we have one new staff introduction. Um, that we'll oh, so um, I'm going to bring up Kurt DeWoody up here to front and center. Come on up here, Kurt. <laughs> Kurt, you know, obviously we know Kurt graduated here from Delsony. We're very happy to have him here. He's here to help rebuild our physics program. Um, you know, as it's dwindled after you know, Mr. McCulley has left, who left a long leg legacy here at Delsey, um, an impressionable mark. So we have Kurt with us. Um, who is going to be an active coach for us, and he has made his way feeling right at home. Is there anything you'd like to say, Kurt? That's it. I, uh, I appreciate <laughs> to be home. <laughs> and that's all. So we're happy to have him here. So Kurt, welcome forward. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. All you got to do, Kurt. So. <laughs> Can I have a motion to approve? Minutes of the regular meeting. Two moved. Second. We have all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? So carried. Motion to approve the executive session minutes. Two moved. Second. We have a second. Any questions on the motions? All in favor? Aye. Opposed? <coughs> so carried. Communications? Okay, at this time, any citizens that would like to address the board? 
please feel free to do so. Uh, my name is Teresa Six. Um, I am just wondering why the homecoming and bringing an outside guest was changed with such short notice. It wasn't even 30 days. And you have kids who have gone to school the past three years and seen people bring guests. It's their senior year and now they're choosing not to go to the homecoming because of the rule change. So uh, I'll answer. Uh in years past, as the popularity of the dance has grown, which is a great problem to have, there have been uh, years where our own Delcy students have been shut out of being able to get a ticket to the dance. Uh, we've gone as far as moving the food out of the gym and into the, um, and you're familiar with the school, the, the West Wing <coughs> hallway. Uh, we've actually moved tables into the lobby to create more space for students. Um, <coughs> So at, that, at this point this year, there was a meeting between members of the administration and members of the student advisory group. Uh, and I might have the exact name of, the, of that group wrong, but it's the student advisory uh, group. And it was decided that this was the best way to uh, be able to satisfy the needs of the Delsey kids first. So kids still aren't going to be able to go. There's still not enough tickets. Why haven't we looked at a different venue? So we're paying, how much are the tickets? $30. $30 for chicken fingers in our gym, where we could have it at a different venue and accommodate everybody. Not, I mean, the venue that would accommodate the numbers that we have would be an enormous venue, number one, because we're in the area of six, and I'm not quoting the exact number, but somewhere near 600 students. Um, it would have to be a very specific venue, and it would be a significant amount of money. It would be like another another prom. Okay, and why didn't they tell the kids this September, the first day of school? They so waited they wanted, they wanted thirty student, days. Student input before that happened. Well, the, I think that the communication to, especially the seniors, was poor. Like my son already asked the date. She went and bought a dress. It's non-returnable, and now he's not going because she can't go with him. It's his senior year. Everything's the last, and he's missing it because of this decision. I just, I don't think the communication was presented to the children like it should have been. I'll take that into account. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Anyone else? I just, it, it, in re relation to the same subject matter, because I know that there's been a lot of contention about this. I'm a retired school counselor. My name's Lisa Draper. I'm sorry retired high school counselor um, a few years now. But I saw on the township page, I, uh, you know, there was a lot of scuttlebutt about this. I would just like to say, it from my perspective, thank you for making a decision that was based on the safety of the kids and allowing them to even have a dance because many schools don't allow outside guests at all for safety's sake. Um, where I worked at Timber Creek High School, we, there were years when they were not permitted to bring outside students, uh, and there were always situations where, you know, that it would have to be approved by both party, both, both schools if it was an outside school. But um, there were often issues, and I'm not saying this would have been anyone who, you know, was going to be or presumed to be in attendance, but there were often issues with having students from outside the district and then there, there's no accountability, there's no recourse with going back to the other district for being able to discipline students and whatnot. So I, when I read that, I was like, well, I, it, the homecoming dance really should just be for the, for the Delcy students. It should just be for in, in district students. So I just want to thank you for, thank you I for thought that was, I, I yeah. will also tell you along what you said, I know Ms. De Pasquale talked in her principal group and it's split. There, there are some schools that allow them and some schools that don't. It's not like yeah. this was an outlier. It's a tough decision. It really is. But when you know you have, you know your students, you know who's permitted to attend. Another school could sign off on a, on a child attending Delcy's homecoming or prom or 
whatever, but that really does not hold a lot of weight in, in some cases. And with the climate that we're working in or teachers are working in these days, space or otherwise, in my opinion, it was, it was a wise decision. Thank you. So, thank you. Hi, I'm Colleen Van Alken. Um, I had a son graduate Del Cine and a son currently at Del Cine. Um, there's been a lot of tension, um, from what I understand, in the community with um, girls' soccer. Um, apparently, those parents didn't show up who were supposed to, but I'm going to speak on behalf of Coach Cortese. I'm going to try not to cry. <laughs> um, try, Coach try, Cort try me. Colleen Van Alken. Um, Coach Cortese has been an invaluable asset to our school community and has consistently demonstrated exceptional dedication, leadership, and commitment to the well-being of our students and athletes. Coach Cortese's ability to create a positive and supportive environment is evident in the enthusiasm and dedication of our students. He not only teaches the technical aspects of the sports, but also instills important life lessons such as teamwork, perseverance, and sportsmanship. Beyond his coaching abilities, Coach Cortese is a role model for our students. His positive attitude, integrity, and commitment to excellence are inspiring. He has a unique ability to connect with students on a personal level, fostering strong relationships, and providing guidance both on and off the field. I can personally say this for what he has done for my children. I have a son at the Coast Guard Academy who he consistently reaches out to make sure that he is okay and that his well-being is intact. And what he did for my son, his years in high school, is exceptional. Um, so I whole wholeheartedly endorse Coach Cortese as a coach at Delcy High School. His contributions to our school community are immeasurable, and I'm confident that he will continue to have the positive impact on the lives of our students. Thank you. I'm Christy Shabby. I am here also in support of the concerns that have been addressed by um, for Christian Cortese. High school sports embody the essence of excellence, teamwork, and personal growth. One of the best in New Jersey, Delphi's, Delphi's athletic department commands programs that provide a supportive environment where students can strive for excellence, learn the values of hard work, discipline, and resilience. As a parent that co closely observed Coach Cortese from 2020 to 2024, I would like to firmly express my unwavering support and attest to his dedication to those athletic values. For my son personally, he was a pivotal role model in shaping my son Tyler's well-being, uh, well-rounded, motivated, and resilient athletic athlete and human. He co consistently went above and beyond to create a positive environment, fostering a culture where hard work, dedication, and respect are the cornerstones. His impact transcends the field, shaping the lives of not just the starting lineup, but even when the students are not the star athletes. He encouraged my son and stayed motivated and engaged. My son graduated in June, but this past month, my father, Tyler's grandfather, passed away. Coach Cortese called my son, not because he had to, but because of his character. Character that extends far beyond the baseball game itself. In conclusion, I stand firmly with Christian Cortese, and I am confident in his integrity and commitment to all his athletes. His dedication ensures that all students not only excel athletically, but also carry forward invaluable life lessons and into their futures. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, <clears throat> my name is Stephanie Starr. Um, I have been a varsity coach here at Delcy for the past 28 years, but tonight I'm here as a parent. I do have a statement that I'm also gonna read because like Mrs. Van Alken, sometimes I get emotional. I have three kids that graduated from our schools and a son who is in 10th grade currently. I'm thankful for everything my kids received in their years at Delcy, on and off the field. I truly believe we are the best in the nation. I'd like to tell you a quick story about my son, George. He's the graduate of the class of 2024 and is currently attending Goldie Beacom College on a baseball scholarship. 
George was a starter on the varsity baseball team here at Delsey. He played the infield and was a right-handed pitcher who reached multiple milestones on the mound. It was also gracious, graciously pointed out to my husband and I at the end of his high school career that, statistically, George is arguably one of the best pitchers to ever come through Delsey. I'm very proud of that, but I have a reason that I'm telling you this, and it has to do with one of his coaches, Christian Cortese. Christian was more than a coach to George. He was his teacher too, but more importantly, he was a mentor, a trusted safe space, an honest voice that cut through all the noise. This past spring, as many of you know, the Delsey High School baseball team won the South Jersey Group 3 championship and advanced to the state level championship game. The team had a magical run playing every single game possible during their season. But the last two games of that season, including the state championship game that would be the last of George's high school career, my son did not start. He didn't just not pitch in either of those games. He didn't start in the field either. He was in the dugout. As good as George is on the mound and in the field, he struggles as a hitter. And everyone knew that, including George. But the other fielder, who was infielder, who was just as good as George, does hit. So he started. That other player was a freshman. In the end, the coaching staff, including Christian Cortese, made the decision that was best for the team. The freshman started, and the four-year senior captain did not. And Christian was the coach who went to George to personally explain the decision that had been made. He cut through all the noise for his player. And do you know who George complained to? No one. And we as parents, we never said a word. It was a non-issue. Playing time isn't a discussion that is warranted. A team has to have a we, not me mentality. Otherwise, they will not be successful. Last year, Delsey saw multiple teams make it to the respective state level championship tournaments. Football won their state championship. Wrestling won their state championship. Boys basketball made it to the playoffs. Track and field made it to the state championship, as did the baseball team. Many of you in this room tonight were at those tournaments, games, matches, and meets to support our athletes. Those teams did not get to those championships without making the sometimes tough decisions and putting the best players on the field, even when the players who have to sit out are the upperclassmen leaders of the team. Christian Cortez is the type of coach we want here at Delsey. He's at every event held in this district. He supports every activity here. And he even announces for the teams he doesn't coach for. He gives back every year at the Senior Sunday with a scholarship in his grandmother's name. He is the culture and climate we all work so hard to create here. The issues recently brought to your attention should have never gotten to this level. The athletic director should have his decision supported. That is why his job, his job is an administrative level position because when coaches are supported by their administrators and you, the Board of Education in the district, they just might end up staying in that district to do their part to make a difference in the lives of young adults for 28 years and longer. And that I know from firsthand experience. Thank you. Anyone else that would like to address the board? Good evening. Good evening. My name's uh, Frank Master. And I have a, I'm here to support uh, Coach Cortese as well. I have a unique uh, perspective <clears throat> as I had uh, twins that graduated in June, a boy and a girl. So my daughter played soccer for four years for Coach Cortese and the other staff and my son played baseball as well. And I can't say anything but positive things for Coach Cortese and what he gives back. My son also played basketball. He was there cheering him on or announcing the games with enthusiasm and support for all the kids. And uh, I'm not sure what the noise is, but when I heard this, I felt I had to come out and say things uh, in support of him. Uh, there's one little story um, I'd like to tell about him. <clears throat> My son achieved a significant milestone in baseball at the beginning of the season. And uh, before that game, Coach Cortez said to me, he goes, today's the day. He pulled something out of his bag, a ball, that was signed by the team the year before because he thought that the milestone was going to be achieved early. He carried that ball for a year 
and present it to him after he achieved that milestone. That's the kind of person Coach Cortez is. He doesn't forget the little things or the big things. And, um, you know, it's, it's amazing the education my four kids have gotten here, the experiences they've had in the athletics and in other curricular activities. And I just hate to see um, good young coaches and teachers just not get uh, opportunities or choose not to do something uh, because of maybe a small few. So uh, I just wanted to come out and express my support for uh, Coach Cortez. Thank, Thank you.
and that sufficient funds are available to meet the district's financial obligations for the remainder of the fiscal year. We have a second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the treasurer's report in accordance with state statutes for the month of August 2024. The treasurer's report and secretary's report are in agreement for the month of August 2024. We have a second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve in accordance with state statute the certification of the board secretary that there are no changes in anticipated revenue amounts or revenue sources. Second. We have a second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the Board of Education certification pursuant to state statute. Uh, we certify that after review of the Secretary's monthly financial report and upon co consultation with the appropriate district officials that to the best of our knowledge, no major accounts or fund has been overexpended in violation of state statute and that sufficient funds are available to meet the district's financial obli obligations for the remainder of the fiscal year. Okay. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the, the report of transfers for, 2000 for August 2024. Okay. We have a second. A roll call vote. Mrs. Doherty? Yes. Mrs. Beck? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. Mr. Lightfoot? Yes. Mr. Dempsey? Yes. Mr. DiMatteo? Yes. And chair votes yes. Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the following bills as listed. We have a second. Any questions on the motion? Roll call vote. Mrs. Doherty? Yes. Mrs. Beck? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. Mr. Lightfoot? Yes. Mr. Dempsey? Yes. Mr. DiMatteo? Yes. And chair votes yes. Motion carried. So we'll my report. Thank you. Education, Mr. Borelli? Thank you, Mr. Chair. I make a motion to approve the following clinics, workshops as listed. Okay. Any questions on the motion? Roll call vote. Mrs. Doherty? Yes. Mrs. Beck? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. Mr. Lightfoot? Yes. Mr. Dempsey? Yes. Mr. DiMatteo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion carried. I make a motion to approve a maximum of three four-hour community vaccine clinics during the 24-25 career, year, facilitated through the Delsey partnership with Jefferson Health. Second. We have a second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the submission of the fiscal year 24 uh, ESSA final expenditure report. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the Title I school parent compact for middle school and high school. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve receipt of the 24 graduation pathway pathways results. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve an amendment to the fiscal year 24 Perkins application to include additional award of $194. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Close my report. Thank you, Mr. Brewer. Mrs. Dyer. Uh, policy, uh, I make a motion to approve the first reading of the following policies and regulations as listed. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. That's all I have tonight. Thank you very much. Mr. Lightfoot. I make a motion to approve the following athletic positions for, for the 2024-2025 school year as listed. Thank you. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. I make a motion to approve the following homeschool students to try out for Delsey Sports as listed. Thank you. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Make a motion to approve the 
overnight stays for the following teams as listed. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Building to ground, Mr. Manio. The motion to approve the following facility request as listed. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Transportation, Mr. Dempsey. Make a motion to approve the following 24-25 transportation jointures as listed. Okay. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And we'll go to superintendent's report. Recommend the board approve the following special education tuition student placements as listed. So moved. Second. Any questions on the motion? Roll call vote. Mrs. Dowdy? Yes. Mrs. Beck? Yes. Mr. Borelli? Yes. Mr. Lightfoot? Yes. Mr. Dempsey? Yes. Mr. DiMatteo? Yes. Chair votes yes. Motion carried. Recommend the board approve the following field trips in accordance with our fee schedule and educational significance as listed. Moved. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Recommend the board acknowledge the receipt of the September 2024 high school middle school hit report as presented. So moved. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Recommend the board approve the district nursing service plan for the 2024-2025 school year. So moved. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And this district reports are there for your review. Okay. Student board member report. Ms. Gibbs. Hello, guys. I'm Jamila Gibbs, and I'm just going to talk about first homecoming. So, with the homecoming, for me, I saw the move to make it for Gelsey students only as beneficial, not only for our students, but for our staffs. Because I know that last year there was some difficulty with outside guests at homecoming, as well as I know personally that a lot of my friends didn't get a chance to go to homecoming because of outside guests, and that was a problem for me my sophomore year. I didn't get to go because there were too many tickets sold for people without a out of district guests. So I uh, I agree with the decision to allow for only plus students. Um, I also like this year how we're implementing more interactive learning groups and processes such as building learning thinking classrooms or just basically like interactive um, problem solving on whiteboards as well as well as um, we do community circle groups in class, and basically, instead of looking at each other's backs while in class, we get a front-facing view of each other and are able to actually communicate with one another, which I appreciate, and it's different from, instead of feeling isolated, feeling more like a community in the classroom, as well as smart pass. Um, it is easier to create passes as well as have access to passes, and you don't only need a teacher's reliance to make a pass. A lot of it is independent and it's easier, so you make sure you're going to the right place. And that's all I have to say. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Executive board report. Mr. Um, Brown. We all have to be blanking the documents. I have nothing to add to it. Okay. <coughs> this administrator. We recommend the board approve the shared service agreement with Franklin Township BOE for facilities manager services. So moved. Second. Any questions on the motion? All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Any old business? Not before the board. Any new business? At this time, um, we have three minutes per group or individual if anyone wants to address the board at this time. No. 
Okay, thank you. I make a motion to enter into executive session to discuss matters as listed, not to be made public at this time. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Motion carried. We'll go into executive five session. Minutes, five minute break. Though. Yeah, five minute break, then we'll go into session. Thank you. Thank you. Executive session. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Motion approved.